What's up, everyone, and welcome to the first five-minute Webflow Jam session. Uh, so these sessions are where I build out either a header or a full website in five-minute increments every day. Uh, so you get to see my process. Um, the videos are nice and short, so you can quickly see what I did uh, and maybe pick up some tip, uh, tips and tricks with using Webflow uh, and just see my whole thought process through building uh, something in Webflow. Um, so I'll quickly introduce the the first thing we'll be building in this jam session um, So it's this header here. So it's a full viewport kind of site where it's just yeah, like the whole uh, screen is the site and um, Yeah, I call it like a header because it's not really like a full page website uh, But we'll be building this in Webflow uh, So this was designed by Jiraj Massar. Uh, he was kind enough to share this design and so I'll be building it in Webflow. So this is his uh, Dribble page here. All right, so uh, we'll be using Figma. Um, I've already exported all the, the files from Figma. So all these icons, uh, this battery icon, these arrow icons, and the plus icons here. Um, this site is using uh, graphic as the font, but graphic is a pretty expensive font and we don't really uh, need to purchase the font for, for the video. So I'll be using the font uh, Rubik from Google Fonts. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and set my timer here on my phone and let's start with the jam session. All right, so just getting the timer. All right, I have it set for five minutes and let's go. So click start and let's start building. So I have a blank site here in Webflow. So I'll hit Command K. The first thing I'll add is a section and I'll call this the main section. And then for the height, I'll set it to 100 VH so it fills the entire viewport. Uh, the next thing I'll add here, we can see the nav bar. Um, I'll go ahead and add, hit Command K, add a nav bar, perfect. Uh, the next thing I'll add, we see here we have kind of this right section and this left section. This left section is about 25% of the width and this right section is about 75%. Um, so I'll go ahead and add another, I'll add a div block here and I'll call this the container and I'll set the height to 100%. Perfect. And then here I'll add another div block and let me add a flex property to the container. So I'll click flex um, and yeah, horizontal stretch and align left. That looks good. So then I've added this div block. I'll call it left and just set the width to 25%. Then I'll add another div block in the container and I'll say uh, grow if possible so it fills the available space. Uh, the next thing I know, notice here is we have these two panels, this bottom one and this top one. So I'll go ahead back in here for the left one. I'll add a div block and I'll call this left panel uh, one. And for the left, I'll give it a display setting of flex, set it to vertical and yeah, vertical stretch and align top or start. And then for the left panel, I'll say grow if possible. I'll hit Command C to copy and then Command V to paste. And for this panel here, I'll just duplicate this class name and call it left panel, uh, not a combo class. We'll say left panel two. And then I'll give it that color here that we see in this Figma file. So I'll just grab it and I can grab the color here. I'll select the left panel two. And for the background, I'll go ahead and paste that right in there. Perfect, so we have that color. Uh, the next thing we have is this uh, this image. So I've already dragged and dropped um, all these assets in here. Um, so yeah, just kind of grabbed. Yeah, I've already saved out the assets and I've just dragged and dropped. Um, so so yeah, we have the assets in here. So I'll grab this div block and I'll just call this uh, right. And then I'll add the background image. So choose image, select it, set it to cover and center. Perfect. Uh, we also have a color overlay over this so we can see it's kind of gold. Um, so for the right uh, side here, I'll set the position to relative and then I'll add another div block in here. So I set it to relative because this div block here, I'm gonna call it the gold overlay. Uh, it's gonna fill that entire uh, div. So here we'll set it to absolute and full and now it fits inside there because the parent element is set to relative. Um, so now I'll grab that color um, it's this color here. It's kind of this kind of gold color and I'll paste it right in there. Cool. So for this um, I'll set the opacity. I'll just work with the opacity here. 
Um, I do want it to be a bit darker, or more saturated actually, and a bit darker. So kind of matches this here. Um, that looks pretty good. Maybe up the saturation a bit so we get that gold color coming through a bit more. And I'm cool with that. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. And then for the background image, um, I'm going to try to play with this to see if this works. Um, so yeah, these are this is cool about the five minute jam sessions. I just get ideas on the fly. Um, so let's set the contrast and boom, that looks pretty cool. We can see there's a bit more contrast here. So um, so also let's work with the color here. Let's up the brightness. No, uh, let's up the or lower the saturation. Uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of getting there, getting that washed out gold color. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with that for now. And let's add the five panels in here. So we can see here there's five panels. Um, so here I'll just add a div block. And actually for the um, the right side here, I'm, I'm gonna set the div block in the right panel. So here we have the right. I'm gonna give it a display setting of flex and perfect horizontal stretch and left. And then for this div block, I'm gonna call it uh, right panel. And I'll just say grow if possible. And then I'll copy this, not the gold overlay, uh, but the right panel. I'll copy it five times. All right, and that looks good. And then let me set those right panels to relative so they come to the front and I can select them. Perfect. All right, so we have those five panels. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm doing with time, but uh, we've got a lot done so far. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and give each panel uh, an, a, a hover effect. So when we hover over each one, they turn darker. So let's see how I want to do this here. Yeah, so let's select the right panel and on hover, we're just going to, yeah, add a background color. So we'll say black and with a very low opacity. Yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good, maybe even a little bit lower. 25, all right, awesome. Um, so yeah, now when we hover, it turns dark, and I'll go back to the none state for this. Um, so let me check my time. I feel like I've gone over five minutes. Um, I didn't start the timer. Okay, we'll leave it there. Um, that definitely was about five minutes. Um, yeah, so that was the first five minute jam session. Um, yeah, I'll remember to start the timer a bit earlier. It's a it's a good start for the first one. Um, as I get as I do more of these, obviously they'll get a bit better. Maybe the production quality will get better. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the first one. Um, and tomorrow we'll continue with uh, these panels, maybe adding some text and adding the content here in the header. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, definitely check out uh, the the shop for template, the web dev, dev for you shop for, for these uh, templates. Uh, if you want to get started quickly with Webflow and uh, get started with the template, I have a few templates here. There is a discount code um, in the description area below. So uh, if you use the discount code, you can get 20% off any templates uh, here. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in the next jam session.